Yo, what's up, YouTube? Today I'm back with another video, man. And today's video is on the top three best rebirth builds for season two. As you guys know, I have a lot of builds on my channel for 2K24. So I picked the top three best builds that you can make for season two. And I cannot lie, these builds are fire. But before we get into the top three best rebirth builds for season two, can we get 300 likes on this video? I believe we can hit 300 likes on this video. So I'm putting you guys up for the challenge. If you get 300 likes, that'll be insane. Also hit that subscribe button. We're trying to hit 5K, man. If we can hit 5K before next week, that'll be absolutely insane. So hit that subscribe button so we can hit 5K before next week. Also, if you guys have any questions or need any help, leave a comment down below and I'll try my best to respond. I hope you guys enjoy these top three best rebirth builds for season two. I hope you guys like the builds. Have a blessed day. Peace. All right, so the position you guys want to go with, you guys want to go with point guard. You guys can go shooting guard if you guys want to. But when I was creating this build, I went with point guard. But you guys can go shooting guard if you guys want to. Height, you guys want to go with 6'6". Six, six. We will be a tall guard on this build. Weight, you guys want to go with 195. This is so we can get some speed on this build. And the wingspan, what you guys want to do, you guys want to go with a 6'8". You guys want to go with a 6'8 wingspan so you guys can get silver limitless range. For you to get silver and limitless range, you need a 92 three-pointer. So go with a 6'8 wingspan so you guys can get silver limitless range. All right, so upgrading this build. Make sure you guys upgrade this build exactly how I show because just one stat, one stat can get you a completely different build. So make sure you guys watch the whole video and upgrade as I show. All right, so first we can start off with driving dunk. You're driving dunk, you guys want to make that at 89. And for you to get pro contacts on this game, you need an 89 driving dunk and you need a 78 vertical, which we will have at the end of the video. And also with an 89 driving dunk, we get good dunk packages. And I cannot lie, the dunk packages you get with an 89 driving dunk and a 78 vertical is amazing. So we definitely, definitely want to go with an 89 driving dunk. We also get slithery on silver, which is very, very good. Aerial wizard, we definitely want aerial wizard if we ever play 5v5 or threes and we cut for a back door and we get other good finishing badges next is our driving layup you guys want to make that a 73 having a layup is important on this game we don't want to have no layup but a 73 is just fine we do have a high driving dunk we do get slithery on silver so we're gonna get dunks majority of the time so we can keep our layup at a 73 you don't need to put it any higher and that's all we want to do for finishing we are able to finish very well on this build next we want to go into shooting for your three-pointer you guys want to make that a 92 I wanted to have silver limitless range on this build. I didn't want a 6'6 point guard that can't shoot very well, can't shoot very consistently. So I decided to go with a 92 three pointer on this build. And we're able to get agent threes on silver. When you have agent threes on silver or bronze and you guys pop takeover, you guys can fade very, very well. My lockdown with an 85 three pointer. When I pop badge, I can fade threes consistently. So imagine you guys with a 92 three pointer popping takeover shooting fades you guys can make it all the time we also get blinders on gold blinders is a good badge especially if you know how to crab dead eye on gold limitless range on silver which is very good we want limitless range so we can shoot from deep and green consistently from deep catch and shoot gold corner specialist gold green machine gold green machine is a very good badge this year you guys definitely want that on your builds we get space creator on gold we also get claimer on hall of fame guard up on gold and open looks on gold which is a very very important badge that we need. Open looks helps you make your wide open shots and green your wide open shots. So we definitely need open looks on gold. So as you guys can see, this build can really shoot. And if you guys ever wanna play spot up or play secondary ball handler on this build, you guys definitely can. And if you guys wanna play 1v1 court on this build, you guys definitely can. We will be getting into the defensive and the physicals very soon. So you guys are not just limited to twos, threes, 5v5 and rec. Free throw, you guys want to put that to 71. This is just so we can be a 99 at the end. But of course, this will come in clutch for rec. Next is our pass accuracy. You guys want to make that a 70. And the reason I didn't go higher than a 70 pass accuracy is because I feel like this is all you need. If you guys are playing rec and 5v5 threes consistently, you guys definitely can put this higher. But if you're going to the 1v1 court with this build, you guys are playing twos with this build, you guys can get by with a 70 pass accuracy. There's no reason to put it higher. In my opinion, I feel like 70 pass accuracy is that sweet spot. You guys will be good, you guys will be fine. I have a 70 pass accuracy on my lockdown and I don't pass the ball slow on that build. So I feel like 70 pass accuracy is just fine. This will allow you to get other attributes. Me personally, I feel like I don't need anything higher than a 70. 
Next is our ball handle. You guys want to make that a 93. The reason we want to have a 93 ball handle is so we can get killer combos on gold. I feel like killer combos is a good badge. When we're dribbling, we don't want our dribble moves to look slow. We want it to look fast. We want to combo up. So we have to have killer combos on gold. And also we do want speed booster on gold. For speed booster gold, I think all you need is a 92 ball handle, but make it a 93 so you guys can get killer combos on gold. But you guys want to make your speed with ball a 83. And with an 83 speed with ball, we're able to get speed booster on gold. We don't want our speed boost to be slow. We don't want to be a slug when we're speed boosting, especially on the tall build. We don't want our speed boost to be slow. We want to be tall, but look like a small guard when we're dribbling. So we want to have an 83 speed with ball. And we also need an 87 acceleration so we can get speed booster on gold. So we want to put that up to 87. And as you guys can see, we got speed booster on gold. We got spot finder on gold, blow by gold. Next, we want to go into speed. Speed, we want to upgrade that to 80 so we can get silver hyperdrive. I feel like hyperdrive works this year. I see it pop up on my 6'2 point guard when I dribble. So I feel like hyperdrive works this year. So we're going to go up to 80 speed so we can get hyperdrive on silver. So as you guys can see now, the 6'6 has good playmaking. We will get handled for days. We just got to upgrade our stamina. We will be doing that at the end. We will get handled for days on gold on this build. So we're going to be good. Ankle breaker, we do get Hall of Fame. I didn't even know that. And ankle breaker is a good badge, man. Ankle breaker works this year. I'm not sure if you guys got a couple ankle breakers before, but I have on my 6'2. And sheesh, it's very good. I'm glad they brought it back. So now that the 6'6 build can dribble, we want to go to defense. Defense, what you guys want to do, you guys want to make your interior a 64. Because if we're playing 1v1 court on this build, or if we're playing twos, and we're playing on ball defense on this build, and we go up against a slasher, we want to get stops in the paint. And with a 64 interior defense, and a 6-8 wingspan. So if you contest someone in the paint, you should be able to make them miss. Because if we have a build with no interior defense, no block, we're gonna have a hard time in the 1v1 court. We're gonna have a hard time playing twos. We're gonna have a hard time playing defense in general. So we wanna have a 64 interior defense so we can get stops in the paint in the 1v1 court, twos, threes. Next is our perimeter defense. We wanna have a 75 so we can get bronze clamps. And to get bronze clamps, you guys need a 45 strength. So go to your strength and put it up by one. And as you guys can see, we got bronze clamps. And we also get other defensive badges, bronze. But the main bronze badge I wanted to get was clamps. Because when we play on ball defense on this build, in the ones or the twos or threes, we don't want people just to go past us or, you know, dribble in our face and we don't get bumpy. We want to get bumpy on this build. We want people to lose stamina. We want people to lose adrenaline bars. So we got to have a perimeter defense. And clamps bronze will help us get those bumps. We could be bumping people to the paint. They throw up a contested layup. We get the ball back. Or we get bumpy in the three-point line, they have to force up a shot. We want to have clamps on this build, especially, especially if we're playing 1v1 court or twos. Not only that, we want to have a steal on this build as well, and we want to have a 73 steal. And I'm not going to lie, steals are broken right now. You guys could get a bunch of steals, so we want to have that on our build. We do get glove on bronze, which is a good badge. Glove is good. It'll help us get on-ball steals. Also, right stick ripper. You guys are good with the right stick. You guys like ripping people with right stick. This is also a good badge to have as well. And I'm pretty sure you get more steals if you use your right stick. So that would definitely help. Even when steals get patched, you want to have a steal on your build. Because if you guys know how to reach, if you guys know how to go for steals and not just spam square, you guys will get the ball in your hands, man. Once you're done with defense, you guys want to go to physicals. If you're physicals, you guys want to go down to vertical. You guys want to make that a 78. Because you guys need a 78 vertical for pro contact dunks. If you want pro contact dunks, you guys need a 78 vertical and that did unlock posterizer on silver too so we definitely could go for contact dunks and we do want vertical for other dunk packages as well last but not least is our stamina and you guys want to upgrade that up to 99 so we could get a handle for days on gold man also there is another way to make this build you guys can drop your driving dunk to 84 and lose out on contacts you guys can drop your standing dunk as well you guys can put that up to 29 and also put down vertical to a 70. You guys will still get good dunk packages, but you guys won't get contacts. And you guys can just upgrade your strength to a 71. So you guys can get a movable enforcer on bronze. This will help you with defense, man. So if you guys ever go to the 1v1 court or twos, and you come up against a guard that has strength on him, he won't be able to bully you because you have strength and a movable enforcer on bronze. So if you ever go up against anybody, they won't blow by you. You guys are able to play good defense. 
Again, you still get good dunk packages like LeBron James dunk package and many others, but you just don't get contacts. So you guys could go with the first way, which is better offensively, or this way, which is better defensively, because you guys do have strength. It's really your choice on what you want. All right, so the position you guys want to make this build, there's two positions that you guys can pick. You guys can pick shooting guard and get the name defensive menace, or you guys could go with small forward and get the name hybrid defender me i like the defensive menace name because that's what this build is it's a defensive menace so i went with shooting guard the height what you guys want to do you guys want to go with six seven six seven is definitely a great height for lockdowns six eight is as well but the best way to make this build you guys definitely want to go with six seven next is your weight you guys want to go down to 197 this is so we can get some speed on our build and so we can be faster on this lockdown in the wingspan what you guys want to do you guys want to put it down to 611 and i know where you guys are thinking like wait 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 611 wingspan this is so you guys can get an 85 three-pointer and with an 85 three-pointer you're able to get limitless range on bronze so think about that you get contacts on this build and limitless range on bronze you guys definitely want to go with a 611 wingspan you guys won't regret it and also if you guys seen the highlights in the beginning of the video you're able to get lanes on this build you're able to get steals you're still able to be a great lockdown with a 611 wingspan after that you guys want to continue all right so upgrading this build make sure you guys upgrade this build exactly how i show because just one stat one stat can get you a completely different build and i don't want you guys to be missing out on a stat that's very important so make sure you guys watch the whole video and upgrade as i show all right, so first we can start off with driving dunk. What you guys want to make your driving dunk is an 89. The reason we want to have an 89 driving dunk is so we can get pro contacts and also we want to get good dunk packages. On this build, you guys are able to get the LeBron James dunk package. You guys are able to get pro contacts. You guys are able to get alley-oop contacts. We can also get a lot of other good dunk packages as well. And with an 89 driving dunk, we also get slithery on silver. And slithery is a great badge. We definitely definitely want that on this build slithery is very op so the fact that we get it is very very good driving layup you guys want to keep it at 69 i know you guys are probably thinking like wait a 69 driving layup no way you guys are still able to make your layups you guys don't have to worry about that and the fact that you have a high driving dunk you're gonna be dunking on people all the time especially with slithery on silver your player is gonna be dunking the ball man every time i play on this player i just get dunks all the time and i don't even have slithery on silver yet so when i get slithery silver I'm gonna be dunking the ball even better. So you guys wanna stay with a 69 driving layup. You guys don't need to make it any higher. Post shot, you guys keep that at a 49. You really won't go for much standing lobs on this build. You really won't be going for post hooks. So we can keep a 49 post shot. Standing dunk, 34. You still get standings on this build. You don't really need a high standing dunk to even get standing dunks this year. So you guys wanna keep it at 34. Next, what we wanna upgrade is our three point shot. And you guys wanna have an 85 three pointer on this build. When I was telling Mar what I wanted, I told him like, yo, I'm not going with a low three-point lock. I want to be able to have a lockdown that can shoot from hash. So he was able to get the 85 three-pointer with a bunch of insane stats you guys will see soon. And man, I don't regret going with an 85 three-pointer because look at the badges you guys get. You guys get blinders on silver, which will come in clutch, especially if you go for crabs. Catch and shoot on gold. You get dead eye silver, which I feel like dead eye probably works this year, man. Maybe last year dead eye wasn't really important. But this year, the way the contest system is looking, dead eye is looking important. We get limitless range on bronze, so you guys can spot up a hash on this build. And I want to show you guys a crazy clip I got shooting from hash. And you guys will be amazed at what I made. And if I can make this shot right here, you guys can definitely make wide open hash shots with this build consistently. I'm going to show you guys the clip right now. I know it's crazy. I don't know how I made that shot, but I'll take it. But imagine how consistent you can be wide open. If you're able to make that wide open, you can be very, very consistent. We also get corner specialists on silver. We get green machine on silver. Space creator, if you guys want to go for some step backs. We get claymore on gold. Guard up silver. Open looks on silver. We get amazing shooting badges on this build. Free throw, you guys want to upgrade that by two. I have a 62 free throw you guys can make it higher if you guys want i really don't recommend it but if you guys do want to make a higher free throw definitely go ahead but make sure you guys watch the whole video and see this build at the end you guys will see why you should just keep a 62 free throw and get these other stats next is our pass accuracy and you guys want to go with a 70 pass accuracy and trust me when i say 
a 70 pass accuracy is amazing i throw super fast passes with a 70 pass accuracy i was actually shocked at how fast my player passes the ball with a 70 pass accuracy you don't need anything above a 70 especially on the lockdown you don't need anything above a 70. next we want to skip to defense for interior defense you guys want to have a 74 interior on this build so that you guys can play the paint so you won't have to switch with your center 24 7. like me when i guard ball i can follow the person i'm guarding to the paint my center does not have to switch it makes defense a whole bunch easier it relieves the stress on your center it relieves the stress on you trying to switch on time so definitely go with a 74 interior because you guys will make centers miss slashers miss you guys will make everybody miss if you play the paint right and contest them next is your perimeter defense you guys want to make that a 97 you guys will end up getting clamps on gold and you guys will get 94 feet i think it's on gold or hall of fame we just gotta upgrade our physicals and we will get those badges on the gold and hall of fame i would recommend just to keep it at 97 because you guys still will get bumpy you guys will still play great on ball defense you don't need a 99 perimeter to play great on ball defense you guys can do it with a 97 next is our steel you guys want to make that a 95 the steals are insane on this build you guys could definitely rip guards all the time on this build and as you guys seen the highlights in the beginning of the video a 95 steal goes crazy you could get bump steals you can do everything with a 95 steal man it's very very op this year next is our block we want to have a 79 block you do get anchor on bronze and i love anchor because anchor works bronze silver gold hall of fame anchor works and not only that we do get chased down artists and once we upgrade our physicals we will get chased down artists on silver and that's a very good badge to have because now not only can you play great on ball defense you could really be blocking people in the paint you can really play insane defense all over the court next is defensive rebound you guys want to upgrade that up to 60 just in case you have to come up the corner and catch a board once you're done with defense you guys want to go to physicals for speed you guys want to have an 85 speed on this build 85 speed is pretty good you guys can play great on ball defense you can keep up with small guards tall guards it's enough speed to go for a chase down block and you guys don't want to go anything under this and speed is off ball speed if you guys were wondering what speed is and as a lockdown you're playing defense all the time which is all off ball so you're gonna need a good speed acceleration you guys want to put that to 82 you guys want to have acceleration on all your builds and also 82 acceleration allows you to get fast feet on hall of fame strength you guys want to put that to 71 you need strength on builds i'm not gonna lie I almost went without strength on this build and I would have regretted it. And as you guys can see, we got gold clamps now because we have our strength up. And also we get immovable enforcer, which is a great badge. Shout out to my boy Damaris because he's like, yo, Ricky, go with at least immovable forcer on bronze. He told me I was going to get chewed by centers if I didn't have a strength. And I decided to listen to him and I don't regret it. I don't regret putting strength on my build. You guys definitely want to go with a 71 strength. With immovable enforcer, no one's going to be pushing you out the way. Next is vertical. And if we want to get contact dunks, we have to have a 78 vertical. If you guys want to get pro contact dunks and get the good dunk packages, you need a vertical. And you guys want to put it at 78 so we can have all the requirements to get the contacts and the other dunk packages. And as you guys can see, we get posterizer on silver. So you guys can definitely go for those contacts. We get aerial wizard on gold. And because we put up our vertical, we get chased down artists on silver, which is very, very good. And last but not least, you guys want to put your stamina to 99 so we can get 94 feet on Hall of Fame, man. And this is for the backcourt. If you want to harass the person that's bringing the ball up, this is the best badge for that. I like pressing on rec. I like pressing in threes. I like playing defense in the backcourt. And this is a great badge just for that. And I forgot to upgrade one more stat. You guys want to make your speed with balls 36. So you guys could be at 99 overall on the best lockdown build, man. This build can shoot. It gets contact dunks. It gets alley-oop contacts. You guys can play amazing, amazing, amazing defense on this build. You guys can play interior defense. You guys are fast. This build is overpowered, man. Again, shout out to my boy, Mar because he was the one that created this build and i made this build and i'm having so much fun with it i do not regret making this build and i don't think you guys will regret making this build if you guys want to lock down make this lock down right here man all right so the position you guys want to go with you guys want to go with small forward small forward is the position you guys want to make for this build height you guys want to go with six eight six eights have a lot of attributes 
So we definitely want to go with 68 as the height because we want to be tall in this build. Wait, what you guys want to do? You guys want to go down to 216 so we can still be strong, but also still be fast. And wingspan, what you guys want to do? You guys want to max it out. And with a max out wingspan, we will be able to play lanes, catch boards, get some blocks, and play some good defense. After you guys are done, you guys want to click continue. All right, so upgrading this build. Make sure you guys upgrade this build exactly how I show because just one stat, one stat can get you a completely different build. And I wouldn't want you guys to miss out on any of the attributes that I show on this video. So make sure you guys watch the whole video and upgrade as I show. All right, so first we're gonna start off with driving dunk. What you guys wanna make your driving dunk is a 94. And with a 94 driving dunk, we get elite contact dunks. And the fact that we're able to get elite contact dunks and still be able to shoot and defend is crazy. So we definitely wanna go with a 94 driving dunk. And as you guys see the badges, we get Slithery on Hall of Fame, which is insane. Slithery is such an amazing badge. Every 2K, Slithery is a good badge. We also get Aerial Wizard on Gold, Spin Cycle Hall of Fame, and Spin Cycle is a very good badge. I cannot lie, 2K did their thing with Spin Cycle. And we are able to get Posterizer on Gold. We just gotta upgrade our vertical. Next is our driving layup. You guys wanna put that up by one and have a 75 driving layup. Close shot, we wanna put that up to 62. I'm pretty sure this will help us with our layups as well. So we definitely wanna have a 62 close shot. Standing dunk, what you guys wanna do? You guys wanna have a 45. Even with a 45 standing dunk, you're gonna be able to get standings. Next is our three pointer, what you guys wanna do? You guys wanna max it out. You guys wanna have a 78 three pointer. And you guys can shoot very, very consistently with a 78 three pointer. And on a rebounding wing, you will be spotting up most of the time. So you should be able to be very consistent with a 78 three pointer if you know your shot. We get catch and shoot on silver on this build. We get corner specialist on silver, green machine silver. We also get claymore on silver, guard up silver, and open looks on silver. So we could definitely shoot on this rebounding wing. Mid range, you guys can keep it at 63. I don't see a point on upgrading it, but you guys can if you guys want to. If you guys really want to hide midi, but make sure you guys watch the whole video and see the stats that you get before upgrading your midi higher. Free throw, you guys want to put it up to 60. This is so we could be a 99 at the end. Next is our pass accuracy. You guys want to have a 70 pass accuracy on this build. You guys can throw fast passes with a 70 pass accuracy. If you guys are new to 2K, pass accuracy is attached to your pass speed. So if you guys want to pass the ball quicker, you need a high pass accuracy. But the lower your pass accuracy, the slower you pass the ball. And with a 70 pass accuracy, you guys should be passing the ball very quick. So you guys don't need to put it any higher than this. On my lockdown, I have a 70 pass accuracy and I have no problem with it. I never ran into a problem with passes. So I can vouch and say you guys will be fine with a 70. Next, we wanna to skip to defense. And once you guys see the defensive stats you guys get on this build, you guys will see how you're a rebounding wing and how this build is absolutely insane, man. Wait till you guys see all the stats on defense. For interior, what we wanna do, we wanna go with a 75. We should be able to guard the paint very well. I have a 70 plus interior. I make people miss consistently. So as long as you guys play good defense and you guys contest them in the paint, they're going to miss. Perimeter defense, what you guys want to do? You guys want to make that at 88. This is so we can play great on ball defense. So if you're ever playing twos with your guard and he cannot guard ball, you can switch with him and literally guard the person that is handling the ball. We also get challenger on gold on this build. So if they ever shoot a shot that is contested and you have gold challenger, they're not making it. Unless 2K bails them out, they're not going to make that shot. We also get picked out ground silver so we can run through the screens. We get off ball pest on gold and off ball pest is a good badge. I really like the badge this year. This is like another clamps. So I really like this badge. 2K did very well with off ball pest this year. So as you guys can see, we can play great on ball defense on this build. If we ever have to switch with our guard or say we're playing threes and we want to play lockdown, you guys definitely can do that, man. And even on 5v5 rec, this build can be a monster. Next is our steal and we want to have a 90 steal on this build telling you guys this build is crazy bro we get interceptor on gold so we can play those passing lanes we get right stick ripper on gold so if you guys know how to go for steals with your right stick you guys will get a bunch of steals but if you guys don't really use your right stick on steals you guys have glove on silver and to make this build even more op you guys want to make your block at 87 and as you guys can see we get anchor on silver and anchor is an amazing badge i love anchor because it works again bronze silver gold hall of fame anchor works we also get chase down artists it will go up higher once we upgrade our speed and our vertical and we will have a high speed and a high vertical so you guys don't have to worry we will get chase down artists on silver maybe even gold once we upgrade our physicals 
So we will get Cheese Down and Cheese Down and Anchor together. Dynamic duo. I guess we'll be getting a bunch of blocks in the paint. So as you guys can see, we can guard anybody on the court with this build. You can guard guards, you can guard centers, you can guard slashers. This is really a rebounding wing, man. I don't know how 2K allowed 6 8 to get this much attributes, but we gotta take advantage of it, man. Next, we wanna go to defensive rebound. We wanna make that a 90. And you guys are gonna be catching a lot of boards on this build. A 90 defensive rebound, we get silver rebound chaser. So all we really have to do is box out the center and we get the board. And to be honest, we probably can even snag over some centers with the 90 defensive rebound. So if you guys wanted a center build that wasn't slow, that could really do everything on the court and not be limited, that's what the rebounding wing is, man. Offensive rebound, we wanna put that to a 70. I'm pretty sure offensive is usually easier than defensive. You guys can put this higher if you guys want to, but I wouldn't do it because you guys are gonna have a high vertical on this build. So that vertical is going to make up for the offensive rebound being low. Once you guys are done with defense, you guys want to go to physicals. Your speed, you guys want to make that at 82. And speed is off ball speed. Anytime you guys make a defensive build, you guys want to have a high speed. Because if you're slow on the off ball, guards are going to abuse you. Centers are going to abuse you. Lockdowns. Everybody on the court is going to abuse you because you are slow. Because you are slow on defense. And as you guys can see, we got chasing down artists on silver, but we will be getting it gold because our vertical will be at 85 on this build. So we're gonna get Chase Down Artist on gold with Anchor Silver. Next is Acceleration, you guys wanna put that up to 74. Acceleration is very important. Strength, you guys wanna put it 82, you gotta have a strength. You gotta have a strength, especially because you guys are probably gonna go up against some centers. If you're ever playing twos, if you're ever playing 5v5 or rec, you're probably gonna go up against some centers. So you need a strength on this build, you guys wanna put that 82. So you're gonna need a strength. And we get Immovable Enforcer on Silver. And Immovable Enforcer is a great, great, great badge. This will stop centers from blowing by you, throwing you around the court, making you go out of bounds. Like this will stop that. So you guys want Immovable Enforcer on Silver. Strength will also help us with our box out. Next is Vertical. You guys wanna put that to 85. And Vertical is very important because it will help us with our boards, our blocks, our dunks. So definitely go with an 85 Vertical. Don't go nothing lower. And as you guys can see, we unlocked Chase Down Artist on Gold. We got Posterizer on Gold as well. And we needed an 85 Vertical to get Posterizer on Gold. So if you guys wanna go for those contacts, and you wanna make all those contacts, definitely make sure you guys got Gold Posterizer. And last but not least, you guys wanna put up your stamina. You guys wanna make that a 95. So you guys can be a 99 overall on this rebounding wing, man. This build can shoot, this build can finish. It can play amazing defense on ball and in the interior. It's fast, it can do it all, man. Again, shout out to my boy Damaris. Make sure you guys follow him on Twitter because this build is absolutely insane. You guys will definitely be dominating with this build if you guys make it. And of course, if you guys want to change up the stats and make it a little bit different, go ahead. But I feel like this right here, it's definitely the best way to go for a rebounding wing.